Welcome back to the Smith Euro YouTube channel, guys. You guys know we've been working on the Mark II, and we have been basically making it into a full race car. We're trying to get the car as light as possible. The rear beam that's in the car now is a Mark II beam, and it's actually, uh, I think it's lighter than a Mark III beam, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not certain on it. But it's really like crusty and nasty, and it's just not worth messing with. So I do have a Mark III rear beam here at work. I've had some ideas of cutting weight out of it, but right now the first step is I bought one of these like crane scales. You hook whatever to it and you lift it up. So I'm going to use the engine hoist and lift this up and have the beam attached to it and see how much it weighs. You see this thing is 57.4 pounds and this is as bare as you can get it. I'm using stock beam bushings, so I just left them in place. But yeah, you guys can see, that is a ton of weight. Somebody just told me that uh, their lightened rear beam was about 25 pounds. So if we can, we gotta get something out of that because that is that is an absolute ton of weight. What I've been thinking is that all these beams come with a, uh, a torsion bar in the middle, which is basically a sway bar. You see this sway bar is in the middle, goes all the way up through, and is welded right here. I'm either going to plasma cut it out, or maybe take a hole saw over here and drill that hole and the same on the other side. Theoretically, after those are drilled out, I should be able to take this bar out, and I think that'll be a pretty substantial piece of weight. And then when that's out, then I was thinking of you see how this kind of goes out to there? I was wondering if I could just do a straight cut with the plasma all the way down. And um, maybe even like hole saw a few spots. That seems like the most logical sense to me. And also like here is a big piece of metal. So I'll probably hole saw that out too. We'll see how light we can get it. If I think anything's compromised, I won't use it. If I can knock about 10, 15 pounds off of it, it'll be a success, especially since it's not gonna cost me anything. I can use the tools here at work and get it all done. Torsion bar is completely floating now. So yeah, you just drill out the welds. This is a one and three eighths. I just gotta do the other side. Looks like I have to chop one end off. I have to chop this end off out here because it's uh, not going to fit through the inner hole. It's a decent amount of weight. I like the way it, it's a solid bar. Frank let me use his little air drill. This thing's pretty sweet. I'm just going through and cutting speed holes basically in everything I think I can. So there's one, there will be one. I'll start going through down the line. I was able to measure the torsion rod beam that I cut out of here. That was about, it was almost seven pounds. So we'll be cutting out a bunch of these slugs top and bottom. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going through leaving as much support as I can, but uh, just taking out what I see as extra weight. Do that about 20 more times. Stuff. Pretty nice straight cuts right there. Yeah. Now it's just a whole lot of grinding. It's 
41.6 pounds. I mean, it's already a decent amount lighter. The other people were weighing them without the brackets, so no, no doubt it's 39 at least. Put a speed hole in the center of the brackets. I was thinking a speed hole in the center of the brackets and just like drill a hole in the center of that. Like just one drill. Definitely without the brackets, in, it's in the 30s. Alright guys, what you're seeing me do here now is just going as crazy with weight reduction as I can with this rear beam. Remember, I didn't want to spend any money on this. This was a totally free project. Now, because it was a totally free project, uh, that just means lots of cutting, plasma cutting, uh, grinders, all that stuff. Just go into town on it. And the whole idea with this is to make it as light as possible. I've seen people say that they've gotten their rear beam down to about 25 to 30 pounds. And that's with cutting out the OEM middle section and adding in a chromoly bar at the back. I didn't want to spend any money. So here's what I'm doing. I think this will be perfectly safe because as I was thinking about it more, one of my coworkers was actually doing a brake job on a Cobalt. Uh, Chevy Cobalt or G5 whichever one you want to call it and the rear beam was Swiss cheese from the factory when I originally cut all this stuff off I got me and Frank uh, weighed it and it was I had only saved about 15.8 pounds so basically 16 pounds I had cut off of it before doing these speed holes now I'm hoping with all this extra weight reduction that we're gonna be right close to 30 pounds. And now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, why not do just an aftermarket adjustable beam? Well, I didn't wanna spend money, that's number one. Number two is that the adjustable beams that are being made, you only get a adjustment for lengthening the rear, which means extending your wheelbase. If you need to do any sort of tow, or camber adjustments, you still have to do it just like OEM with the aftermarket beams, and you have to do it with like toe shims, which are little plastic things where you put it on the rack, or you, you find the camber first, and then uh, you basically you try to adjust everything to zero as best you can with these shims. And that requires taking off the whole brake assembly, rotor, everything, hub, and you put it behind it. And if I'm doing that anyway, I might as well just keep my rear beam um i think this is gonna be perfectly fine with all that being said guys i haven't gotten a chance to remeasure it so guys remember when we initially weighed this it weighed in at 57.4 pounds i'm hoping that we're going to be really close to 30 pounds altogether let's see what are we we are at 38 0.6 pounds. All right guys, so we've almost cut 20 pounds out of it. So it looks like I only cut about two and a half more pounds with all the speed holes. It sucks, but you know, oh well at this point. I cut out as much as I could safely. We do know now that we can get it lighter by doing the chromoly bar, which is what we'll probably do but as of right now, there's no point to. I think the chromoly bar, we will save probably another 15 pounds, maybe. Uh, could only be another 10 pounds, but still it's, it's something. So instead of getting caught up in something like this right now, uh, I think we're just gonna run with it, install it. Remember, we got a bunch of stuff to do, braking, brake wise and all that, and cutting more out of the car. So this is a good first step. I think this will be 100% safe in the car. I just wish it was a little bit lighter. It's lighter than it was, much lighter than it was. Almost 20 pounds, so I think we'll do all right with that. So if you guys like what you saw today, give me a like, comment, subscribe. We just got so much going on that I'm really excited for it all. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around. Thanks for watching.